Cool. All right, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to the Morpho project. And today we're going to be working on the Morpho project again and we're going to be working on uh this spot right over here. So we're going to be working on the grass and then from the grass on we're going to be working on the stones and hopefully, you know, we're going to be able to get everything done for today. So no further ado, let's get started, shall we? Mm. Man, that was fun today. Ugh, so much fun. All right, shall we do the left? Well, to the right, not to the left. The left is uh, not the part where I need to go with these things. All right. Um. So the first things the uh, first things to do is making sure that I have the right color achieved. So there you go. Then I need to get the uh, then I need to get the full screen view, and then I will be able to yes. All right. Now we have this, which is one is one color, and so I will now really, re really, really, all right, fine. Uh, so um, making sure that that is like this. Make sure I have the right tool equipped. Yes, excellent. And now I can get this part right over there. No, I need to zoom in for this one. To get the right color. There you go. Lovely stuff. All right. Now let's see if this works. God damn it! Wrong place. All right. Now we can start. I knew it. I pressed it all in the wrong place. Um, there you go. Now I need to put this there. And now we can get started. Alright, I need to grab the big brush instead because apparently this is working like that. It's to be a little bit more lighter. Cut. No. Less. A little less. Come on. All right. It's too light. Now we can look for it. So now we can grab the size. So yeah, um, sorry, I was a little bit out of, uh, out of not out of knowledge, but out of uh, thinking to say. So uh, yeah, that happens. No, it happens. So the main the main thing that I uh, the main thing I did today was actually making sure that I uh, solidated. So with solidation, I mean uh, applying for a job. Or well, at least you know transferring the CV to multiple places at once, and uh, that actually went well. That went pretty well, by a long shot. It, it, I got already some responses, so should not take long for the rest of them to respond as well. And then probably you know it's gonna be another you know long waiting game. But uh, yeah. Um, so I did that today. I also made sure that I did a walk, but apparently, when I did the walk, I actually uh, miscalculated the weather, and it was so sunny, and then all of a, all of a sudden it went uh, 
showering down out of the, out of the heavens, and uh, I was like, ah, well, see, this is a problem. But the good news is I actually made sure that um, the amount of stuff that I had carried with me was not wet at all, so no problems there at all, which is great. So as you can see, I'm just adding some small lighting to the grass, and uh, the grass already takes shape. It already takes cool looking effects on it, which is great. Because, you know, that's what we want. We want to make sure that this grass looks decent, or at least doable, as grass moss-like appearance. So yeah, um, I had a lot of uh, things to do today, and uh, I even went working on my drawing again, so that's also great. Not on this one, different one. I uh, added some squids to it, and now uh, I'm working towards getting those squids correctly set up with the correct amount of slice so you have like a claw strike uh, straight through them which is the whole effect of it which I want to have and then after that I actually want to make sure that um, I have a little lovely background on it of course this drawing potential of that drawing itself is actually quite low so the uh, detail of it is almost lackluster so it is like, you know, it's not fully detailed as this, it's not such a high thing to draw. It's more like a fun little doodling draw. Which is good, you know, you don't wanna you don't wanna cause too much trouble there. You don't always want to have like, you know, every single time the same amount of drawing pot uh, potential. So yeah, um So what I did, uh, what I did actually today uh, with this drawing was like, you know, how could I ever get to from point A to point B with these things? And I'm like, yeah, I know exactly where it's left off, and I now know where to start, which is good because you know it is sometimes really hard to figure out like where you were left off when you have like a day or two being like, oh. This is really hard to draw, and then you know, all of a sudden, it's like, ah, well, look at that. I found a solution. Because that's how trial, and, trial of error works. You find a solution really late, and then you know, you you fix you fix it by you know, you you're fixing the problem that you have created. If it, if if I didn't do that, then uh, well, you know, this whole drawing would have looked like shit. So uh, at least this is this is a great great way to do things. I'll tell you that. So, um, yeah. I am actually quite excited for a Sunday. Ooh. Especially since I actually, uh, I actually, I actually DM'd, uh, 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 Saturday and, um, it actually went pretty well. I, um, almost, I almost got them killed. I think I already told you that, but here comes the here comes the here comes the, the fun part. You could have you could even make a character that is even you could make a character that is not useless to the party, even though you know its stats are not great. <laughs> Let's put it like lightly like that. It's like mm, your uh, your uh, stats are the worst case scenario of uh, what the hell. And uh, I actually made it into a very decent character, even though you know it is. Uh, it's not the best. It's not optimal at all, but uh, it looks pretty, definitely. All right, so now we actually did it. We actually added the color to it. As you can see, we added the color towards the drawing. Now we can even say like, well, we want a uh, blending tool, yeah, sure. This will even fix more stuff. And now that we have the blending tool on that side, we actually can now go to the darker side of the drawing and then uh, draw over it. Why would you do that? Well, because of um, 
you don't always want everywhere to be very light. Uh, damn it. You don't always want everything to be light everywhere. So by creating this dark effect on it as well, so you have the light and dark, a little bit more darker. Like so. That is good enough, I believe. No. Yes, excellent. So the idea here is that we're using the darker tool to create the effect of, you know, um, how do you say, um, we're creating the effect of um, field of depth. There you go. And we're casually, you know, adding more stuff to it. Also, I realized that I need to clip, uh, clip my nails again, so uh, because they are getting away again with the um, drawing, I cannot hold my pencil correctly, which is a pain in the ass. Because if I, you know, if I move too much around, I have the fear of, you know, pressing the button, and uh, you don't, you don't want to press that button. It's the worst case scenario of a button press, and uh, normally, you know, we don't want that to have achieved. All right. So now we can look at this, and we can see, like, definitely already the changes that are made by doing this, which is great. All right. Now we can put this aside. And now we can go right over this one, right? Yes. And we're going to add a new group. In this group, it's going to be, well, you know, the um, uh, rocks, which also need to be drawn. So first we need to make sure that we have the right pixels, which is 3.1 or 3.6 almost. Like this one right now. Lovely. So the first things first, we need to grab this part right here. There you go. I have some uh, I have some uh, problems with my hair. It has uh, tiny little yeah, it has tiny little problems with the amount of stuff I'm releasing right now. It's getting uh, it's getting hotter and hotter, so it means that my hair is probably not going to be breathing well, which means that they're all going to be all shivers all over the place. Which sometimes is a real pain in the ass to deal with because of the amount of amount of shivers there are releasing. You know, one shiver, all right, that's no problem. But that many that you know you don't want to, that uh, is indeed a thing. So as you can see, we're working slowly towards the end goal here, which is, you know, drawing these rocks. We're drawing the rock really, 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 um, you know, slow, because we know that if we're doing it too fast, things might not go well. So, what I'm now doing is currently is, you know, adding some uh, texture, and then once we're done with that, we can now, we can now work towards, you know, Adding more field of depth to it. Because we now know how to work around with it and where to look for it. So that's great.
of course you know this is all you know a drawing just a drawing so it's not a it's not a real big deal right now Alright, that's one rock down, three to go, well, you know, one, two, three, four, five, on this side at least, and then six there, but I'm not counting that one because that is actually a new one that I need to figure out where to start with it. As you can see, the amount of stuff that is working on these things is... Uh, quite a lot. We're just casually, you know, building it up from point A to point B. But to do so, we need to make sure that we are doing it correctly. And that makes it sometimes really hard for me to do, because, you know, it requires a lot of concentration and a lot of scrabbling around to create this rocky feeling into the rocks. Which is indeed a thing that uh, can be really hard to do. I mean, yeah, I mean the most the most obvious thing that happens here is that you know the rock is getting contested by the grass, which is true. Which is true. So we need to technically make that as well working. There you go. That's another rock done. Uh, I need to double check anyway, so I need to double check this. So don't mind me, just. Picking up the sec uh, picking up the first colors. Because I don't want to get my ass uh, handed to me later today, so uh, I'm gonna make sure that this is looking like it's supposed to be looking. We're gonna be looking at uh, we're gonna be looking at uh, the texture of the rocks itself to see if there is any. A uh, good resembles of a rock between the grass and the rock itself. By the looks of it, it is looking natural, so that's good. So, yeah. Alright, so this is actually looking quite decent because technically, if we can, if we add the lightning towards this rock, it should be fine. Okay, Hnitovan. So yeah, um, now. Uh, the main the main problem that we have here is that there is too much green right here, and some green overlapping here that needs to be removed. That's that's all. But I think I need to do before, you know, I can uh, truly see the problem. Oh well, I already know the problem, so it doesn't matter that much. But it matters to me that this thing is looking fine. So.
I need to turn this around. Don't want to overwork my hand too much here. There you go, we have a decent rock. needs to be less blurry, it needs to be less hectic, so we should definitely add some blurring in, into it. Not too much, but we don't want to have too much of a problem here. All right, now we just need to get back into the business, and that should be fine. You see, this is why I always prefer, you know, making sure that I'm not uh, overdoing things or overshadowing things or overlooking things, because if we make a big mistake in the rocks. It will be shown in across most rocks. And if it will be shown in most rocks, then well, you know, we'll not be able to get our well look correct. Of course, you know, it's always hard to draw, you know, rocks properly. Especially with these kinds of things, you know, you you want to add rocks, but you don't want to add too much rocks. You don't want to add too much um, shading to it. You want to add more, you know, re uh, realistic look to it. So, like for instance, here we have this rock. Well, this rock rock looks great. This rock feels like a rock. And now we can add the color of this rock again into it to see if it is correct. If it is the rock that we want, of course. Because that's all what we need. We want to know if it is our rock that we want, and then we need to make also sure that you know this part of the grass is gone. All of that is necessary to make sure that you know the layer pulling up is correctly and will stay correct. So yeah, we have already like now three three rocks done and we as you can see these rocks are indeed, you know, looking decent. One rock has more shading than the others, but that is because of the amount of, you know, uh detail that's been put into it. 
Uh, let me just take a look at the time. 25 minutes, so 25 minutes left. It's doable. Alright. So yeah, we're just gonna be doing this casually and then, you know, adding some more colors to it so that we have the original part done as well. So, um... As you can see, the more rocks we drew, the more rocks we draw, the more uh, difficult it gets. Because the bigger the rock, the more detail needed to make it look like a rock. The harder it gets to make it fall to be a rock. Because you know, not everybody is fooled that easily, especially a picky eye. Well, a picky eye is. Uh, not fooled easily at all. I mean, I think that is obvious, but you know, sometimes it is not obvious at all because sometimes things go out of the way or they don't look straight or there is a thing going on, you know. As you can see now, we are having a problem here, but that problem is easily solved. I mean, I just did this to make sure that I have the um, lines uh, to create the rock appearance uh, for this. And I can now look at it like, yeah. I can see this be like this tall and then break around here. So that's good. We have a tall rock. It's always nice to have variety in two rocks because, well, you know, it's uh, very important to keep a steady view, especially when it comes to rocks. Normally, you know, all of this work would have been so much more time, but you know, we're we're ramping through this like there is no tomorrow. Why? Because, you know, we want this thing to be done. And so we need to keep our courage upwards into the sky, just to keep up my myself and my spirit up high. Like, you know, once this rock is done, we can climb another mountain. That is the main idea. And that's the main idea I follow. Well, at least that is the thing that I want to go for. Alright. Hmm. Do we want a second rock? Do we want a second? Do we want another rock? We can go for another rock, but we're not going to be going for right here. We're going to go for this kind of rock. Those rocks are far more different than the rocks that you used to see because, you know, those rocks indeed are difficult to draw. It's like someone put gravel on, to, on top of it. So now we're going to go back into the drawing. And we're going to select our beautiful point, which we had. Right here. And we're gonna add some more rock. Well, we don't need that. No. Ah, crap. Crap doodles. Did I drew it on the wrong layer? Did I drew it on the wrong layer? No, I did not. Then how did that part go over here and erase everything I made because it is too light? Hmm. Interesting. I can see it. So it's not gone. Then is the question, 
What makes this go blurry like hell? It is then the the roots, right? It is the roots, right? Because technically this is true. This is true. So the only way to fix this is to add more detail to this. Or we can remove the the root. Which is this part over here. No, that doesn't fix it. That doesn't fix it. Oh, I know what it, I know what happened. I know what happened. Uh, you see, the main problem with the main problem, the solution of everything is always the easiest one. You just draw over it. All right. Allow me to explain what happened. I drew with the wrong color on the on, on I drew with the wrong color on this, right? So instead of drawing with black, we drew with gray. And once you add the gray with the gray, then you will you have dark gray. Like here, you have dark gray, which is not a really good gray. All right. Now that we have done this, we can now look at like, oh, did we leave left something behind? Did we ruin something? Did we um, did we uh, cause something to happen? Well, looks like it. Looks like we did. So we're gonna be fixing that part up. We left some uh, things behind here. All right, cool. So we have the color. Now what I could do, what I could do, what I could do, is making sure that I'm actually using this and doing it on the same layer. So probably gonna be doing that just to make sure everything works well. So we're gonna be picking our brightest color of the day, which is uh, hopefully not crashing. That would be horrible. Come okay, on. There you go. Picking up the color today. Yeah, there you go. And make sure that I'm saved so that we have the parts that we have already on top of it. And let's see. 33 minutes. So oh, that's doable. Now. Um, now we have this and we have the alpha on. So with the alpha means that we cannot draw over anything. Which is good. Because we only want to draw over certain types of things. Oh, um, let's turn that. Let's turn that a bit, a little bit back. We don't want that much. We don't want to have that kind of gray on top of this. We want, we want that gray, but we don't want that kind of gray. We want. This type of grey? That type of grey, probably. And now if we pick up this one instead, and that should work. Look at that. It works. Lovely. The main event of choosing this kind of brush is that I can decide where why I want the lighting and where I don't want the lightning lighting and uh, it also improves uh, the drawing itself because you know we can add some nice uh, shading towards the whole damn thing. For instance right here we can say like well we want this part right here and we want this bubbly bit. Alright, we want this bubbly bit to be standing out. Well, we can do that. And then, you know, un not be so delightful with the rest. And you have this bubbly bit now standing out as a rock part. Front and see here as well.
now that we have done that, we can now add the darker bit to it as well. Which is also a thing that we need to do. So we're going to go for the darker bit. Which is... Right there. Right there, come on. There you go. So what this do, what this does is actually increasing the amount of, you know, darkness into the area again. Sometimes, you know, it feels like it is the same, so we want a little bit more darker. We can do that. We can say like, well, we do, we do like this, but we would like to have some more, you know, grim tone towards it. Well, you can do that. It is no problem, whatever. You know, it is still, you know, a rock. So, technically, you know, lots of things can be fixed by doing this. Alright. For instance, here we can put that down. We can put some more shading down here. And put some shading in the middle of this all this grint. And by the looks of it, this is all grint, right? We can look at this and we say like, well, you know what? Technically this looks technically this um this grint doesn't I don't like this grint, alright? We don't we don't like this grint, nobody likes this grint, well we can fix that. We can fix it by blending it. We can even blend it like this if we want to. If we really want to do it like this and then, you know, add some new stuff towards it. So we can do that and we're going to be doing it like that. So now we're going to pick up the color again and now we can add some better. Now we need to add the dark color to it, not gray color. Is this it? No, almost. Almost. Well, this is the fun part about, you know, erasing. You can just erase whatever you want. And you can put some new stuff behind it. There you go. Much better. Alright. So as you can see, the rocks now look as normal as the other side. So I think I'll, I did a very good job here. And this is how you do it. Um, you fix the rocks by, you know, getting from point A to point B. And, you know, you, you look at the art style that you have already used and then copy it into the other one. Uh, my head is a little bit too tired right now. And, uh, uh, I think I will call it quits here. Um, just because, you know, I'm feeling really tired. So that's good. Um, I hope you all have enjoyed for the day. And, uh, I hope I'll, uh, I hope I'll see you all next time. Until then, I wish you all a lovely day. Bye.